dividing decimals by 10, 100, 1,000, and 1 tenth, 100, and 1,000. Division of decimals by 10, 100, 1,000, and 1 tenth, 100, and 1,000, just like multiplication of decimals by 10, 100, 1,000, and 1 tenth, 100, and 1,000, may not go anymore in a long process. You may divide these decimals by observing the decimal place as well as the location of decimal point. The movement of the decimal point to the left or to the right will help you make the division faster and easier. In example 6 and 86 hundredths divided by 10, 6 and 86 hundredths is called dividend. It is a number that is divided by another number. 10 is called divisor. It is a number that divides another number. The answer is called quotient. Dividing decimals by 10. First example, 6 tenths divided by 10. Since there is only one zero in the divisor, so move the decimal point of the dividend once to the left and put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 6 hundredths. Second example, 58 hundredths divided by 10. The divisor has one zero. So move the decimal point of the dividend once to the left, then put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 58 thousandths. Third example, 7 and 254 thousandths divided by 10. Again, the divisor has only one zero. So move the decimal point of the dividend once to the left, and put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 7,254 ten thousands. Dividing decimals by 100. First example, 6 tenths divided by 100. Take note that divisor has two zeros. So move the decimal point of the dividend two places to the left and the next or put zero to fill in the vacant place. So the answer is six thousands. Second example, 58 hundredths divided by 100. The divisor has two zeros. So move the decimal point of the dividend to the left twice, an X zero to fill in the vacant place value. So the answer is 58 ten thousands. Third example, 7 and 254 thousands divided by 100. Again, there are two zeros in the divisor. So move the decimal point of the dividend twice to the left, an X zero to fill in the vacant place value. So the answer is 7,254 hundred thousands. Dividing decimals by 1,000. First example, 6 tenths divided by 1,000. The divisor has three zeros, so move the decimal point of the dividend three places to the left and annex zeros to fill in the vacant place. So the answer is 6 ten thousands. Second example, 58 hundredths divided by 1,000. Since the divisor has three zeros, so move the decimal point of the dividend three places to the left and the next zeros to the vacant place value. So the answer is 58 hundred thousands. Third example, 7 and 254 thousands divided by 1,000. Again, the divisor 1,000 has three zeros. So move the decimal point of the dividend three places to the left and annex zeros to fill in the vacant place. So the answer is 7,254 millions. When dividing decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000, count the number of zeros in the divisor. 
move the decimal point of the dividend to the left as many times as the number of zeros in divisor. When necessary, annex zeros in order to have a correct number of decimal places in the quotient. Dividing decimals by one-tenth. First example, six-tenths divided by one-tenth. Since the divisor has only one decimal place, so move the decimal point of the dividend one place to the right and put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is a whole number six. Second example, 58 hundredths divided by one tenth. Again, the divisor has only one decimal place. So move the decimal point of the dividend one place to the right and put decimal point. So the answer is five and eight tenths. Third example, seven and 254 thousands divided by one tenth. Here, the divisor has only one decimal place. So move the decimal point of the dividend one place to the right and put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 72 and 54 hundredths. Dividing decimals by one hundred. First example, six tenths divided by one hundred. Take note that divisor has two decimal places. So move the decimal point of the dividend two places to the right and annex the zero in the vacant place and put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 60. Second example, 58 hundredths divided by 100. Again, the divisor has two decimal places. So move the decimal point of the dividend two places to the right and put the decimal point afterwards. And so the answer is 58. Third example, 7 and 254 thousands divided by 100. The divisor has two decimal places. Move also the decimal point of the dividend two places to the right and place the decimal point afterwards. The answer is 725 and 4 tenths. Dividing decimals by 1,000. First example, 6 tenths divided by 1,000. The divisor has three decimal places. So move the decimal point in the dividend three places to the right and annex the zeros in the vacant place value. Put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 600. Second example, 58 hundredths divided by 1,000. There are three decimal places in the divisor. So move the decimal point of the dividend three places to the right and annex the zero in the vacant place value. Put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 580. Third example, seven and 254 thousands divided by 1,000. There are three decimal places in the divisor. So move the decimal point of the dividend three places to the right and put the decimal point afterwards. So the answer is 7,254. When dividing decimals by one-tenth, one-hundred, and one-thousand, count the number of decimal place in the divisor. Move the decimal point of the dividend to the right as many times as the number of decimal place in divisor. When necessary, annex zeros in order to have a correct number of decimal places in the quotient. 